the second order linear differential equation with constant coefficients is of the form. So uh, this is the second order linear differential equation with constant coefficients. So constant coefficient means um, d square y by dx square is a function. So constant is constant coefficient is a. Again, d y by dx is a function. B is a constant coefficient, and y is a function. C is a constant coefficient. So uh, this is a this is the equation. So the nature of roots and complementary function of the given second order linear differential equation. First one is real and different. Suppose the two roots are different means we have to apply this uh, complementary function a e power m1 x plus b e power m2 x this is the form. Suppose real and equal. Suppose the given suppose the solution is equal real and equal m1 equal to m2 equal to m. Both values are same. So the complementary function is ax plus b e power fx. Third one, complex roots. Complex roots means alpha plus or minus i beta. Alpha is the real part, beta is the imaginary part. So the complementary function is e power alpha x into a cos beta x plus b sin beta x. These three are the complementary functions of the given problem. Exercise 4.5 problem number 1. Solve the differential equation d square a b d x square minus 4 d a b d x plus sorry d square a b d x square minus 6 d a b d x plus i2 equal to 0. The solution d square a b d x square minus 6 d a b d x plus i2 equal to 0. So first the uh, second degree can be connected as a d square. So d square means d square by dx square capital D means d by dx first you have to convert this result d square by dx square can be converted as d square y minus 6 into d by dx means capital D y plus 8y equal to 0 y can be taken as a common d square minus 6d plus 8y equal to 0. So the auxiliary equation, so all the d can be transformed as m. So m square minus 6m plus 8 equal to 0. So this can be split into two factors. One is 4 into 2, 8. So the, we have to take the minus sign. So we have to take minus 4 and minus 2 so minus to minus plus so minus 4 into minus 2 is plus 8 so adding these two values minus 2 minus 4 minus 2 equal to minus 6 so m square minus 6k 6m can be taken as minus 4m minus 2m plus 8 equal to 0 m square minus 2m and minus 4m plus 8 equal to 0 m can be taken as a common for these two terms so m into m minus 2 again minus 4 can be taken common for these two terms so minus 4 into m minus 2 equal to 0 so m minus 2 into m minus 4 equal to 0 m equal to comma 4 so these two uh, roots are different different so real and different so we have to apply the first auxiliary function so uh, v equal to a e power m1 x plus b e power m2 x so v equal to a e power m1 can be taken as 2 x 2 and uh, b e power m2 can be taken as 4 so v equal to a e power 2 x plus b e power 4 x hence the power again let us move to problem number 2 solve d square a b d x square minus 4 d a b d x plus 4 y equal to 0 Again converted as d square equal to d square by dx square d equal to dy dx. So d square y minus 4dy 
this can be taken as minus 4 dy plus 4 by equal to 0. Y can be taken as a normal d square minus 4 d plus 4 y equal to 0. In the axillary equation all the d can be transformed as m m square minus 4m plus 4 equal to 0. Uh, this is a, a minus b whole square formula a square minus 2ab plus b square. So m square minus 4m plus 4 can be taken as taken as a minus b whole square. This can be split into two parts m minus 2 into m minus 2 equal to 0. m equal to 2 comma 2. So these two root, roots are real and same. Real and same. So the complementary function is o equal to ax plus b e power mx. So ax plus b e power 2x. This problem is complete. Problem number 3. Solve d square plus 2d plus 3 y equal to 0. Straight away applying the axillary equation, d can, all the d can be transformed as m. So m square plus 2m plus 3 equal to 0. Uh, we have applying the quadratic formula, formula a equal to 1, the place of a equal to 1, p equal to 2, c equal to 3. Formula is m equal to minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2 a. Quadratic formula. So, this is this. Formula minus b, minus b plus r minus square root of b square minus 4ac by 2 a. So minus 2 plus r minus square root of 2 square minus 4 into 1 into 3 by 2 into 1. Minus 2 plus r minus square root of 4 minus minus 4 into 3 is minus 12 by 2. In place minus 2 plus r minus 4 minus 12 minus 8 by 2. So minus 2 plus r minus already uh, square root of minus 1 is i. Magnum. So square root of minus 1 is i. Root of root 8 is 2 root. So we uh, uh, minus 1 is uh, square root of minus 1 is i, square root of 8 is uh, 2 root 2. So minus 2 plus r minus i into square root of 8 is 2 root 2. These values are uh, dividing throughout by 2 means minus 1 plus r minus i into root 2. So this is the real part alpha equal to minus 1, beta equal to root 2. Alpha is the real part, beta is the imaginary part. So alpha equal to minus 1, beta equal to root 2. So the complementary function is y equal d power alpha x into a cos beta x plus b sin beta x. The final answer is y equal to e power alpha value is minus 1. So minus x into a cos beta is root 2, root 2 x plus b sin root 2 x. That's the problem. Again move to problem number 5. d square minus 2d minus 15y equal to 0 given that d over dx equal to 0 and d square over dx square equal to and x equal to 0. First we have to find out the solution of the differential equation and then we have to apply the, these two conditions d over dx equal to 0 and d square over dx square equal to when x equal to 0. First we have to take the differential equation d square minus 2d minus 15 y equal to 0. The axillary equation is m square minus 2m minus 15 equal to 0. So m square minus 2m minus 15 equal to 0 can be minus 15 can be split as 3 into my, minus 5. 3 into minus 5 minus 15. 3 minus 5 is minus 2. So m square plus 2m minus 2m can be taken as 3m minus 5m. 3m minus 5m minus 15 equal to 0. Uh, again these two terms, m is taken as a common, so m plus 3 minus this two term minus 5 is taken as a common, m plus 3 equal to 0. So m plus 3 into m minus 5 equal to 0, m equal to minus 3 comma minus 5. These two roots are real and different and different. So we have to apply the complementary function y equal to a e per m1x plus b e per m2x. So a e per m1 is minus 3 and m2 is 5x. Equation number 1.
this function can be differentiated with respect to x. Equation 1 can be differentiated with respect to x. So, y means dy by dx equal to a e power minus 3x. Again, the coefficient of x is minus 3. Again, b e power differentiation of e power 5x is e power 5x into coefficient of x is 5. So, dy by dx equal to minus 3 a e power minus 3x plus 5 b e power 5x. C equation number 2. Second equation. In the second equation, we have to apply when already given, these two values are already given, dy by dx equal to 0 and x equal to 0 in, in this equation number 2. So, dy by dx is 0 equal to minus 3 a e power minus 3 and x value become 0 plus 5 b e power 5 into x value is 0. So, minus 3 a anything by 0 is equal to 1 plus 5 b anything by 0 is equal to 1. So, 0 equal to minus 3 a plus 5 b is equal to number 3. Again, in the same equation number 2 can be differentiated again differentiated with respect to this function can be differentiated again with respect to x. So, d by dx is differentiated from d square by dx square equal to minus 3 into a e power minus 3 x. Again, we have to put the coefficient of x is minus 3. Again, uh, phi is a constant b e power phi x. Again, we have to write the coefficient of phi x is phi. So, d square y by dx square equal to minus into minus plus 9 a e power minus 3 x phi into phi is 25 b e power phi x. So, when d square by dx square equal to 2 when x equal to 0. In this equation we have to apply d square by dx square is 2 equal to 9 a e power minus 3 into 0 plus 25 b e power phi into 0. So, 2 equal to 9 a into 1 anything by 0 is equal to 1 plus 25 into b into anything by 0 is equal to 1. So, 2 equal to 9a plus 25b is equation number 4. Solving equations 3 and 4, third equation is minus 3a plus 5b equal to 0, equation number 3. 9a plus 25b equal to 2, equation number 4. Solving these two equations, uh, these two values are same means multiply by 3. That equation is multiply by 3 means minus 9a. Uh, 3 into 5 is 15b equal to 0. So, second equation as usual, 9a plus 25b equal to 2, uh, cross out these two terms. So, 15 plus 25, 40b equal to 2, b equal to 2 by 40 equal to 1 by 20. So, b equal to 1 by 20 is equation number 5. 5, equation 5 can be applying in third equation. So, third equation is this, applying in third equation. So, minus 3a plus 5b equal to 0, minus 3a plus 5b equal to 0, minus 3a plus 5 into b value is 1 by 20 equal to 0, minus 3a, 5 by 20 equal to 0, minus 3a plus 5 is 4, 1 by 4 equal to 0, minus 3a equal to 1 by 4 is taken as right hand side means minus 1 by 4, minus minus cancel, so a equal to 1 by 12, is equation number 6. So, equation 5 and 6 are applying in equation number 1. Equation 1 is already known. This is the complementary function for this given problem. So, y equal to a e power minus 3x plus b e power 5x. So, the a value is 1 by 10 e power minus 3x and b value is 1 by 20 e power minus e power 5x. So, this is the final solution of the given differential equation. Hence the problem.